Hey folks, Jim Dexter at Tactical Sound Training Center and STI Tactical Team 2011. Want to do a quick overview today on some holsters that I have for my STI Staccato P Duo, my Trigicon RMR, and Surefire X300. When I got set up with the Staccato P Duo, I needed an option for OWB. Uh, I primarily carry concealed AIWB. But sometimes I'm at court or at a conference walking around in meetings or things but I have things that are identifiable on my purse. I'm in a polo, I have my badge visible, and I just don't want to carry AIWB. I'm sitting in conference rooms or, or attending sessions or I'm teaching out on the range and I'm not in my full kit because I'm just uh, doing a range safety or lead or assistant instructor. And so I wanted an option to use on the waistband. And so I was alerted to Black Point Tactical. Reached out to those guys and they set me up with a standard light bearing holster and a leather wing light bearing holster along with their modular accessory pouch. Uh, originally I just reached out and said, you know, hey, can I, can I get hooked up with a, uh, just a standard light bearing holster, which is their standard Kydex option uh, with their OWB attachments. And luckily, they decided to send me both to check out. They also sent me the light wing or the leather wing light bearing holster. I'm super glad that they sent it to me because I was predisposed to the all Kydex version just because that's what I've always run. And you don't know what you don't know. And so I figured that this would suit me just fine and this would be what I would like and all that I would need. Uh, I was wrong. I am a big fan of this leather wing light bearing holster. Um, I, there's nothing wrong with this standard light bearing holster. Uh, I, I dig it, it's, it's perfectly fine, it does exactly what it needs to do. However, what I found is everybody's body's a little bit different. I like to carry in a little bit different spot than other people do on their waistband at the 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock position. And I found with the rigidity of the Kydex that is in the standard light bearing holster, that I couldn't quite get this holster exactly where I wanted it to be without it being uncomfortable. Uh, because it's designed to sit in one spot and stay right there and ride nice and tight to the body, which it does. Now enter the leather wing light bearing holster with the leather tabs on the side. And I can work this and get this in the exact position that I want it to be in every single time, no matter what I'm wearing, no matter which belt I have on, no matter what my uh, outer garment is going to be, if I want it a little bit further back because I'm wearing a sport coat, a little bit further forward because I am going to actually do some demos and I like my gun a little bit further forward. Uh, the, the leather wings on the side of this do a great job of allowing you some flexibility in where you put it out on your body as well as drawing it into your body. I was concerned at first that with the extra layer of protrusion along the holster that I wouldn't be able to conceal it as well as I would uh, a normal Kydex holster with the attachments directly on the side of the uh, wings essentially. That has not proven to be the case. This, this holster does a great job of hugging in tight to my body. The leather wings allow it to conform uh, even better to the curves. Some of us have a little bit more or a few more curves than others do. And it does a great job of pulling it into the body and concealing while also being comfortable. The modular accessory pouch or the MAP uh, works in a similar fashion in that it's a single mag pouch. In this case, it's a single mag pouch Kydex body with the leather wings on the side of it. The cool thing about this, the reason why they call it the modular accessory pouch, is that you can take other mag holders and attach them along the side here. So you can just take another mag holder if you for some reason needed to uh, one up to another mag holder or you wanted to just carry two all the time. You just simply take another one of the Kydex bodies Put a little on the side here and put your fasteners in there and you have a double a double mag holder same thing with the mag holder it does a great job of hugging in tight to my body great retention on um, this this kydex i normally run uh, a 20 round reload mag in here i'll if i'm uh, carrying owb i'm just at a conference or something in the staccato i'll have a my the flush 17 round mag and i'll run a 20 round reload in my mag holder does a great job of retaining it, sits right down in there, positive retention on it, and it's super comfortable. The fit on the mold of this Kydex uh, is, is really great. It, it clicks in with a positive click on there, real solid retention, but it still allows me 
to draw the gun nice and smooth when it's on my person. Uh, even sitting here just doing this video uh, with a little bit of force holding onto the holster as if it were on my body. It comes out nice and smooth every single time. No snags, uh, no uh, no burrs or anything on there. It was definitely a, a uh, high attention to detail holster. Looking at all the lines are smooth. Uh, it is it is rounded and uh, sanded off to be comfortable in all the spots that it needs to. I haven't found there to be any hot spots on this holster at all, uh, even against my body, the back of the holster. Uh, they do a real good job uh, of beveling off the edges here where it still retains uh, the ability to conform directly to the gun, but there's no hot spots pressing into me. Uh, the, uh, the, the, I guess, uh, sweat guard, that's up here uh, does a good job as well of being rounded and tapered off and so it's not jamming into the side of, of uh, my uh, tactical muffin. So I don't have to worry about at the end of the day having a pressure point or a hot spot right there on my side from, from sitting down, standing up, or doing whatever I need to do with this holster on. Overall, I've been extremely happy with this Black Point tactical holster. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad that they sent that leather wing again. Uh, I was predisposed to the the standard version and I found that the leather wing does exactly what I need it to do whenever I need it done. Also this modular accessory pouch uh, holster system is, is, is really neat and the mag holders were if you do want to carry a mag OWB uh, it's, a, it's a great option. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, also check out STI. It's new Staccato P Duo. I'm at uh, coming up on 6,000 rounds. This gun has just become my duty gun uh, for patrol work as well as SWAT. Uh, I honestly just couldn't find a reason not to carry it. All the mags that I have have run flawlessly. Uh, I think probably 5,000 of these rounds have been shot in public, in classes, and around other people. And uh, it's just not a secret that this gun runs exactly what you would need uh, to run for a duty use gun. So check it all out guys. Be safe.